Yep, I know. I've been uploading similar content from the past days and now is the time to change the directions from here to there. Now we're gonna not only talk about the operating system. Let's dive deep and take a look at those amazing applications of Linux. And I must say, you're gonna love these applications. So let's get started, shall we? Now the first application in this list is something you would definitely want. And if you want to show off to your younger brother or some relative or any friend that yes, you use Linux and you are like those amazing sci-fi hackers, that sort of people, just show off, then this is for you. This is C-Matrix, a small elegant program that displays the matrix style digital rain which mimics the original matrix films and the others. You can customize almost everything from what characters which will be raining to their size, colors and yes you can make it your screensaver as well. Thank me later for that. And the best part? I know that this might be just one of your favorite Linux applications. Yep, I know. Yep, it does look good. Now then let's move to the second application which is like gonna be way too useful along with so many powers and this might be just the application you use in your everyday life, maybe the most used application. I'm talking about terminal, but not just any terminal, warp terminal. A blazing fast GPU accelerated AI enhanced Linux terminal for modern developers or just a normal user. Unlike the traditional terminals like we have on Linux distributions, Warp comes with an amazing reimagined UI with productivity focused features, especially with AI command suggestion and a built in AI system which literally crafts commands. Like it can create commands for you. If you have an error, then it can help you. This just might be the perfect application for Arch users or those users who have to do, you know, like deal with a lot of errors you know what i'm talking about your inner desires of using arch linux but cannot because of the issues errors and other stuff well this just might be the savior and the best part it is way too fast and it is gpu accelerated so yep it's gonna be awesome and it is built on rust now cosmic desktop environment is also based on rust so you can imagine the performance and installing it is literally pretty easy you're gonna find the link in the description and it is supported by Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, well you will need Arch user repository AUR. Then you have Fedora and others because they have an app image. Yep, thank me later for that. Now let's say you have something fun to show and display to your friends. You have a proper Linux terminal. Now what next? Well, the next one is literally the second most used application on Linux. Well, what do you think? The web browser. And here I am with, well, you might not want it, but I must say, it is an amazing application. I'm talking about Zen Browser, a privacy-focused, lightweight browser. It is literally an amazing minimalistic web browser designed for users who want a sleek and no frilling browsing experience. And you might think like, this is Arc Browser, well, it is different. Because Arc Browser is based on Chromium while Zen Browser is based on Firefox. So it has privacy by default out of the box with a minimalistic UI which is lightweight and it has so many damn themes like it is cus completely customizable, literally. And they provide a Debian package along with others and yeah, if you have a Debian based distribution like Ubuntu or anything then it's gonna be a pretty easy installation because it has Debian package. But let's say you are on Fedora or Arch, then you're gonna have to compile it. Well, Arch users don't have to worry about that because they have AUR. So yep, good luck Fedora users. Now, I know I've created a video about it and you might not like me for that, but it is actually a lightweight privacy focused browser with the removal of any heavy features which come from mainstream browsers like Chrome or Firefox. Now, you might think that this is way too bulky, but just hear me out. Just like Linux, you need to customize it to your needs. Okay? Now, let's move to the next software. Yep, it's gonna be a software, not just any application. And that is actually one of them. How can I say it? Like, it's maybe not for normal users, like normal home users. But if you are a content creator or video editor, then you're gonna need a proper video editor on Linux. Now, I am planning to install DaVinci Resolve, which is literally way too complicated stuff, which I'll do later. 
But let's say you don't want that complication and want a simple life with a good browser, not browser, video editor. Then what? KDL Live is not that good. Well, it is, but it's very really complicated. So what next? It's easy. Just go on with Lightworks. And don't tell me you have not heard about it. And if not, then let me tell you. Lightworks is actually a professional grade non-linear video editor that has been around in the Hollywood industry for decades. It is known for its robust set of features it is used by film editors in Hollywood or independent creators alike and it, it has both free and pro version and with the free version you have more than enough tools for video editing. Now let me just tell you the highlights. It has real time effects, advanced trimming, multiple format support, it has collaborative editing as well, then multi camera editing as well and installation is literally just pretty simple. All you have to do is just get to their website and download the package and install it. Just that. And I've literally used it and it actually has 3D video editing as well. So I believe, in my opinion, it is a superb video editing software with an amazing experience for both beginners and professionals, particularly if you need an advanced level editing with precision. It has a strong legacy in the film industry, which makes it great choice for projects where quality is the key. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos up. I'll be back in the next video. Yep, and if you see something else after the video then it is just for increasing the length of the video. Yep, now then I'll, I'll get going because I actually have to reinstall Arch Linux. Yep, I broke the system. Well, talking about that, yes, I did broke the system and well, I was actually... I had an amazing Hyperland setup with Arch but then I found something even more interesting like another Hyperland setup so I was thinking like let's just try to uninstall Hyperland and delete everything all the packages and then reinstall everything and as I told you it was literally hell of a mess and now just because of that I cannot even get back to the normal GNOME desktop I installed in the process. Now then well I was thinking of actually switching to Arch Linux like I found a way through which I can actually use H.264 MP4 files on the Wing Resolve for free, yep, on Linux, on Arch. And so the only problem I had is getting resolved, so why not I just make a proper shift to Linux? Like what else, why the hell I need to be on Windows? Well yeah, gaming is something. <laughs> Well then, I'll think about it, but I'm definitely gonna reinstall Arch Linux and try everything to make a proper switch. Don't worry, you're gonna get a proper video and with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be back in the next one. I've said it literally three times in a row. So yeah, bye.